everyone, welcome to another episode of Mad As A Go. Today I would like to talk about something that's quite important. I hope I don't bore you with this, but it has to be spoken about. There's a discrimination that happens in our society which no one wants to talk about. Everyone just thinks it's a joke. It's a discrimination acted upon us male, us of the male gender, by the sex industry. And you want to know what it's all about? Sex toys. Yeah, things that help you get off. Look at all the stuff women have. You have your standard dildo, then you have a vibrator, and they all look immaculate. You can even get ones that look like dolphins, which look more like a statue than a fucking jerk-off device. And you even have fuck machines, and you have all these crazy things that they've got to play with. And what do men have? We have those silicon lifelike dolls and a fucking fleshlight. Just totally perverted, fucked up shit. It's like when they were making the women's stuff, we wanted to make it look feminine and nice. And when they were trying to come up with butch stuff, instead they went in the way of perverted. A fleshlight is a completely perverted device. Where the fuck would you use that? How does it catch? I don't know how it works. I don't even want to know how it works, to be honest with you. The f the way it looks is just like a canister like this that you slip in and do 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 I'm assuming it just catches at the bottom. Wouldn't that mess up the inside? Do you buy a new one each time? I don't know. They're so complicated and disgusting that I will never use one. I'll be happy with, like, cutting a hole in the mattress and having sex with that. That'll work for me. That's fine. I'll just catch with my mattress and buy a new one each time. But all all our devices are fucked up. And I mean those silicon dolls. What, what The really... People have sex with those? I... No. I don't believe it. A silicon doll? No. Fuck you. That's bullshit. But apparently people do. And there was one documentary about a guy who he, he fell in love with his fucking sex doll. Because of the sex industry, a bunch of normal men are being turned into perverted freaks. On the other hand, women are in their room playing with their dolphins dildo while taking another shot from the bong and fucking enjoying themselves and laughing and having a great time. And think about like bucks parties. For a bucks party for a male, you go to a strip club, aka a seedy bar, you know, with normally with women with low respect and it's kind of depressing and it's a kind of lewd atmosphere and at the end of the night you just get messed with by all your mates. And on the women's side, you play with dildos and have a bunch of fun using fucking dick innuendo. I mean, the ladies one is more fun again. I mean, from their young age, when they start you know, experimenting with their sexuality. They got all these nice gadgets, and then oh, it's time to get married. Well, here's a nice little party for you. Now we get married. Here's an elegant thing that only you would like. Because let's face it, most husbands are at their wedding gone. When do we get to the piss up? Seriously, this is fucking batshit boring. Yeah, you look nice in the dress. Where's the fucking alcohol? That's the fucking truth of the matter. And that makes me come to a conclusion that for men, as far as sexuality is concerned and getting, you know, gratification thusly, it's just a downhill slope of shitness. Firstly, you have to be strong and fit a certain stereotype to attract a woman. And then just to get off, you have to do all this fancy stuff and have the right size penis and all this. And then on top of that, the ceremony that you're meant to enjoy, 90% of it is for the lady. We just keep, keep it screwed, 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 screwed. I find it funny though, because I really don't give a shit and I'm completely insane. I'm totally cool with that. Anyone can say that and I really don't mind. So it doesn't really affect me. I mean, why even jerk off? What's the point of that? Why would you even buy a flashlight? Why don't you just fucking yell at the sun? That's what I do. Ah, oh, i horny. Ah, Jawway! And that does it for me. I don't ejaculate because I don't need to. I could chop my balls off right now and be happy for the rest of my life. But so many people get caught down with all this annoying little shit and that's why these devices exist. All these disgusting things like flashlights and sex dolls and fucking and vibrators and this and that and deal those with like graphic veins in them and shit that's why it all exists because people are too stupid to shut that bit off use it when needed don't just use it all the time there's some people who have to do it every day people say it's a medical condition or something to do with their brain and a chemical imbalance I say that's bullshit I say they've just got no control they had to get taught at an early age that shit you got to keep it under wraps use it when needed why are you using it all the time why do you have your deal on standby with a bottle of lube that's not right that's mental that's fucking disgusting disgusting. Just calm down, stop jerking off and enjoy life. There's so much more to do. You can fucking yell at windows. It's the greatest hobby ever. I hope everyone takes it on and they can put the tissues away for at least a couple of weeks because it's bad for you. You could rip your friend limb or you could like damage your clitoris and then never have an orgasm again. And I'm worried about you guys. I want you guys to go on and have successful orgasms but if you keep going on along this trend of just wanking all the time you're going to break them and then you won't ever get to have one ever again. I'll see you on the potato side. Should have a should have a wank probably. Yeah. <clears throat>